Dave Oliver is the National Secretary of the Australian Manufacturing Workers Union and he joins me now from our studios in Melbourne. Dave Oliver, are you shocked that the Prime Minister has ruled out an inquiry into the Australian manufacturing industry? Well, we're very disappointed. Um, uh, as you saw in the little promo there that uh, there was a meeting yesterday and uh, a request was put up not only by uh, the unions, we also had uh, the head of one of the major employer associations uh, Heather Ridout from the Australian Industry Group uh, put a request out that there should be uh, an inquiry into the manufacturing sector uh, because uh, it, uh, we've had uh, an announcement of 1,400 jobs uh, out of the uh, out of uh, Blue Scope Steel on Monday. Uh, two days after that, we had BHP announce 22.4 billion dollar profits, uh, and it's because of the mining boom. Uh, that's driven up the high Australian dollar, we've got this enormous pressure on manufacturing. Well, the Prime uh, Minister says, you know, about this idea about an inquiry, she says that, look, people get different impressions from conversations. That's uh, just human, that's natural. Did you simply misunderstand what she was hinting at? Uh, well, I had no doubt uh, when I left the room yesterday that uh, the Prime Minister uh, was open uh, to an inquiry uh, and uh, my colleague at the AWU has uh, expressed the same view and I also understand that uh, Heather Ridout from the Australian Industry Group has backed that in as well. Well, Labor Senator Doug Cameron, a former union official himself, uh, says that this decision not to have an inquiry is politically dumb. He says it's economically irresponsible. Do you think the union movement, are you pinning your hopes on a sort of a backlash from the Labor caucus in order to perhaps get the PM to change her mind? Well, um, there are a lot of good um, uh, backbenchers that are very concerned about what's happening in the manufacturing industry. Uh, in fact, I was down in Canberra uh, last week addressing uh, a meeting along with Paul Howes uh, and uh, nearly 30 backbenchers uh, who are concerned about what's happening in their own electorates. Uh, I mean, what's emerging at the moment is this two-speed economy where we've got this enormous mining boom that's happening, that's having a significant impact in the manufacturing sector. Uh, and, uh, you know, manufacturing employs one million people. Uh, in the mining sector, uh, it's 200,000. So do you agree with Senator Cameron that it's dumb, that the Prime Minister is being dumb? Uh, I think that uh, the government needs to uh, act quickly. Uh, I don't agree with the, the view that's been put to say that an inquiry will prevent the government from acting. Uh, we had an inquiry not so long ago uh, into the automotive industry that was chaired by Steve Brax, the former Victorian Premier. Uh, we've got a lot of good uh, recommendations and initiatives which the government has acted on, which has um, salvaged uh, and provide a very strong automotive industry uh, in this country. We've heard a bit lately some business complaints and also some uh, comments by the Reserve Bank Governor raising concerns about productivity. If the unions are worried about the future of the manufacturing sector, would you perhaps be uh, prepared to revisit some industrial relations laws in order to help out the sector? Uh, yes, I uh, heard the comments of uh, Glenn Stevens and, uh, and the uh, Reserve Bank over the weekend. Uh, I mean, they're right out of touch. Uh, you don't improve productivity by removing penalty rates off workers. Uh, even under John Howard's so-called flexible IR system, uh, the 11 years that John Howard was in government, we saw productivity drop by 30%. If you want to deal with productivity, uh, and, and this is what we wanted the inquiry to also look at, is about how do we get major investment in infrastructure, in skills, in innovation, uh, in management capability uh, and uh, access to capital. These are the key issues that drive productivity, not whether or not you take penalty rates off workers. All right, Dave Oliver from the Australian Manufacturing Workers Union, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Thank you.